Hello everyone, and today I'll be reading the Scaramouche Exclusioner by me, so let's get into it! Scaramouche only granted love when he was provided so much of what he needed, safety, and most importantly, trust. Trust with Scaramouche was something so fragile, something so important, that once broken, it could not be healed. It was the foundation of a new relationship, of anything that he wanted with someone else. And that's why he mostly never got along with the Fatui. He never trusted them. He never knew what they might be up to. So he only focused on his goals, treating them more like allies, but only when he needs them. They're not friends, no. Not even proper teammates. They were just different people with a common goal to get the Gnosis and defy Celestia. But there are other things he cared about, of course. Things he held dearly and protected with his own life if it came to it. And amongst these things and at the top of them was you. That's why I trusted you so much. And that's why Scaramouche never expected a betrayal from you, his most trusted companion, his partner, and his world, all in one. And it felt like, like he was discovering that everything in his life was a lie all over again, that he was being betrayed, stabbed in the heart when he was most vulnerable. Why? Why would he do that to him? He trusted you so much that he told you everything. Everything about his plans. Everything that he wanted to do. But the only thing that he got from you was betrayal and you using him. He had told you his intentions to steal away the Gnosis from, well, you know who. A's most trusted companion, Yay Miko. And he did that. Of course he did. And he thought he could run away. Only to be cornered by the rest of the Harbingers. Trying to tell him not to do it. And he knew that otherwise they would use force. That he'd be expected to hand it in. All of that. Just because he decided that his goal was not something that you wanted him to follow through. He hated trusting you in that one moment. In that one moment where trust was shattered and the years of planning were slipping through his fingers as he was forced to hand it over and that as they wanted, he was hurt. Beyond that even. And you know what's worse? He did it for nothing. Because they cared not for you, no, but their plans. And they did not promise to protect you. They just lied to you. You sold them over for nothing. And it hurts more than anything in the world because he was doing his best to be a good partner. So when he went over to you that day, his eyes, looking like there was darkness in them, Evil and hatred, and even more, hurt. Why, Wayan? Why would you do that to me? He asked, was trembling. While he could only look at the ground, he knew exactly what he did, and why he did it. But he felt like no explanation in the world would be enough. Because to him, you betrayed him. And he knew that was the truth. He did just that, and you can't blame him for hating you. He never could. So he just stood there, waiting for him to enact his own judgment upon you. Can I just ask you why? I want an answer. I want a reason, Leon. I want to know why you did all of that. Anything that you had to gain? Anything that he threatened you with? Or did you just give it all up for nothing? 
Was this that worthless to you? Did you not love me at all? Was this your end goal from the very start? He said, seeming more hurt with every word he spelled out. And you shook your head quietly, taking a step towards him, feeling like you're going to collapse and cry at any moment. No, Skira. That was not my end goal. I... It's my fault I did this. But it wasn't my choice. Then why? Why didn't you tell me? I couldn't, Skira. You don't get it. I know it's not... It's not your fault. I can't blame you. But... I had no choice. I had to do this. And I can't tell you why still. So, the only thing that you could do is to leave me or get rid of me. I understand if you do. I betrayed you, and it's the least I deserve for breaking your trust like that. You said, falling up, and he looked at you, his heart aching with every word that he heard. Because now, no matter how much you wanted to believe that he didn't betray him, he knew you did this, while knowing how much trust you were breaking, how much trust he had in you, and you were just giving it all up for something that you wouldn't even tell him about. It hurts him, and he knows. But part of him wants to believe there was a reason for all of this, that you still loved him, that you wouldn't betray him like this for no reason at all. But no matter how many times he tries to believe that part, everything else tells him not to. But he can't hurt you. He would hurt anyone else for doing this. But somehow, no matter what you do to him, he's still weak against you. So the only thing that he does is nod his head quietly telling you that that's the end of it between the two of you if he was so unworthy of knowing an answer and if he was so worthless to you that you'd break all of that trust for nothing at all then he was going to leave and this would be your last meeting he stepped quietly away from the scene looking at you with one last glance before opening the door. And the time he sounded shut was a signal to the end of everything that you have built.